Hello everybody, Patrick Glenn Nichols with Patrick Glenn Nichols Muscle Car Barn Finds and I'm here with a muscle car and somewhat of a street rod horde here in Tennessee and I thought I would share it with you the best way that I can. There is no electricity in this building so you'll have to bear with me um, with the lighting situation but these cars are parked um, and hoarded up a long period of time. Some Chevelles, some street rods, uh, some Buicks. Uh, so forth and so on. So I will tr do my best to walk around these cars. I won't be able to spend a lot of time on any specific car, but I'll do my best to try to show you every car that's in this building. So here we go. As you can see right in front of you is a 55 Nomad, which is a really popular car that actually run in sea gas at one time, which is a race car. Um, car in front of you is a 34 Ford, which I can't get around it totally walk around to this side it is a 34 Ford and it looks to be like a midnight blue really cool car and this car is the little deuce coupe which everybody's heard of like the Beach Boys song it's a 32 Ford which is a really nice car too and of course my specialties are the Chevelle this is 70 Chevelle El Camino SS 454 um, it does appear to have some changes and some add-ons to the best of my ability from what I see without inspecting the car totally um, but it is a black car with a 454 it does have air conditioning and again the lighting in here is not good so I have the light on the camera and you can see some things are incorrect like the master cylinder um, the radiator top plate is incorrect it's not the correct one for the air conditioning and but the uh, intake and a few other things look to be correct on the car and I do believe it's a super sport car I'm um, an SS 454 from what I can see it's got the early version hood well it's the second version with the old with the bigger insulation holes but it's not the design with the indentions here so technically there's really three versions of these hoods and we see it's got some add-ons here and there. It does have the correct uh, washer monitor on the car. I do believe it was equipped with that originally. But I won't spend a lot of time on any individual car. 70 Chevelle Malibu. Looks to be forest green with ivory interior. Here, let's have some parts stored in the car. The body on this convertible is impeccable. It's unbelievable. You can tell it's been stored away for many, many years. And again, I can barely get around in this building, so I'm doing my best to show you. You can see how dark it is in here, so I do apologize, but I know you guys wanted to see this type of car hoard, and I do my best to bring it to you. Now, over here, as I step across, is a 70 Chevelle SS 396 that this person purchased new. This car, it's a tuxedo black ss 396 that has been in this person's possession since brand new i do believe he sold it one time and got it back but he is the original owner one little quick little fun fact on this car it did not have air conditioning and he took the whole air conditioning setup off of another 70 chevelle and added the entire setup to the car and done a really really good job l l34 396 this car again was born without air conditioning but he does have the correct radiator top plate and let's check if the bottom okay you can see the radiator support it still has the standard duty radiator support and let's see if we can run down the cow tack pretty quick on the chevelle okay one three six three seven two door hard top a for atlanta and 20048 is the body number 756 for black bucket seats b80 b90 the rpo options for the atlanta plant that they place on there we've been through that code 19 for tuxedo black this car was born with a black vinyl top it does not have it now and the third week of january and the rest of these figures we've been over for before are combinations of data processing numbers on the atlanta build sheet I like the car. Any one owner car is a car that I like, especially Tuxedo Black, 70 Chevelle. It has, again, had some add-ons. The interior appears to be original. And again, I do apologize for the lighting. 
doing the best that I can do. It just does not get very well lit in this barn. In front of you, that's an 87, what they call a T-type car, which is like a Buick Grand National, but it was you could get it in a regular color. Though These cars are intercooled and turbocharged, and that is a an actual 1987 Buick Grand National. So these cars pretty much have the same running gear, except for the T-type you could get in a standard color. The 87 Grand National is a very popular car for a mid to late 80s muscle car. They have a big following. And you can see on this car, T-type. And we see Buick and Buick turbocharged V6. Now here is probably my favorite of the whole litter is this 66 Chevelle, which is a single repaint car, original interior, original body panels, original engine trans, so forth and so on. I would actually try to buy this car. I have tried to buy this car, but it is not for sale. You can see the wood wheel and some things, but this does have original carpet, original door panels. I do believe the front seats have been recovered, but the rear seat has not. Really nice car. And what are the miles? The miles show 74,000. Yes, 74,000. And I do believe that to be correct on this car. So all the way around this car, because this is probably, again, like I said, my pick of this Horde would be this 66 Chevelle. You can see the rear panel is body color, although the car has been painted. And it's a late car, it's June of 66, so would be a car where some people may debate that the back could have been painted in this semi-gloss black or whatever, but on a black car, I don't care to debate that, especially on a car that's been repainted, so there's no way I can prove it. Let's look under the hood. Three and a quarter, 325 horse from the factory, and it's original. Of course, it has an add-on battery, and a few things are probably it looks like the valve covers are possibly new. And let's go over the cow tag real quick. Okay, everybody knows, or the Chevelle enthusiasts understand it. In 66, the Super Sport had its own body style in 66. So the 138.17 is the two-door hardtop SS396 body style. ATL for the Atlanta, and then the 15424 will be your body number. 763 for black bucket seat interior. And AA for tuxedo black upper, tuxedo black lower. And W for windshield antenna, two for group two. L for, let me think about that for a second. I know G is center console and R is rear speaker. And L would be four-speed transmission. That's correct. Okay. Man, it's a nice car. Single repaint. Virtually untouched. Somewhat of a survivor car. My type of car. Okay. What else do we have? An 86 Corvette. Convertible. And one looks to be about a 85... Chevrolet truck and a 65 Chevelle 327 is what appears to be here. I think that's about a 90, 91 Camaro. Again, guys, I'm doing my best to show you everything that's in this garage and this horde. And most of these cars have been sitting here a long time. They don't get out. They don't, they're not moved. The 66 Chevelle is cruised from time to time, but it is definitely a nice car that a lot of people don't know about. Really original 66 Super Sport. I will open the passenger side of this door as well. And let you peer into the interior. And forgive the glare from the light on the camera, but again, I'm doing the best that I can in the lighting situation. The lighting in this building just does not get any better than it is at this moment. Really cool car.
SS396, factory black, factory four speed, original trans, original rear axle, mostly original interior, really hard to come by. And let's see if we got the, the correct. Okay, a lot of this splash pan is supposed to be silver and then body color under. A lot of times that's incorrect and a lot of times these, these lines are not painted correct as well. So that passes the test. Really cool car. In fact, I'd love to own that car. I know some people, some other people, some close friends of mine that would like to own that car. 86 Corvette and of course the 70 Chevelle is always a personal favorite of mine. That's a one owner car. Like I said, air conditioning has been added and a few other options. Again, I don't have time to go over any specific car in a lot of detail but a lot of things on the car do appear to be correct. But the radiator support is still the standard without air conditioning. And the car was born with a black vinyl roof, which this car would have been considered a triple black 70 Chevelle when it was born. It still is, it's just missing the black vinyl top. So. I'll go back this way one more time. We have the 70 Chevelle Forest Green Malibu, which is really good shape for a convertible. Nearly rust free with ivory interior. The 70 Chevelle El Camino SS454, from what I can see, is an authentic car. Haven't had time to really inspect that car and see what's original, and what's not. Back to the T Type Buick. The Little Deuce Coupe, 32 Ford. A lot of people love those. The Little Deuce Coupe. And over here to the 34 Ford. And another good shot of the El Camino. And we do have some paper placed over some of these license plates because the owner just does not want to be badgered. And then the cool with the flames on it, 55 Nomad that ran in sea gas. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I did the best that I could to show you what is here. There's no way to film this garage barn with any better lighting. I'm Patrick Glenn Nichols of Patrick Glenn Nichols Muscle Car Barn Finds. Please like, subscribe, comment, and share. If you need assistance with your 1970 Chevelle SS authenticating, please contact me at either pnichols26 at Yahoo or on Facebook and YouTube at Patrick Glenn Nichols Muscle Car Barn Finds. I hope you enjoyed this video of this muscle car and street rod and Buick muscle car, 80s muscle car horde. More videos on the way. Thanks.